so today's Saturday and I made the mistake of going to Walmart I know I know I do the online shopping but to, I got a gift card and uh, I needed to experience the Walmart thing again today and I went in just to pick up a few things and I'm going early so it's not that busy but it's still can I say ignorant people in there God created online Walmart shopping for me I know he did for me and my family because I can't I can't even when I when I was not buying uh, my groceries online I did not touch Walmart but we were blessed with a gift card thank you so much and I had I had to go use it and I you can't use it on the online thing so but I didn't check I should have checked because you probably can so but um this is Saturday morning Debbie vlogging I'm out running errands and I decided to go by Walmart and use my gift card so needless to say it was an experience and it'll be a long time before I go to Walmart again. I, I, your online and grocery pickup, I love it. But the customer service actually wasn't that bad. It's just the rude people and the way people behave. It's like people are just, this world really needs prayer, folks. With This place is just... This world is a mess. People are rude and bump into you and 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 they cut you off and you know and and this lady up at the checkout counter she wanted cigarettes. And the, the cashier, the only cashier that can do it is the one that has the 20 items or less, which I was in the line. And the lady's trying to give, she's trying to give good service. And this other lady's just cutting and talking. Can you get me the cigarettes back there? I have more than three. Just rude. Could she, she could at least say, excuse me, may I ask you a question? What happened to excuse me? You know, <laughs> Walmart. The people that shop at Walmart, and I'm one of them, but I, I, I can't do the inside Walmart anymore. So I'm going to be taking you all on my day today. This is one of my second stop. First stop was at uh, Bank of America. I needed to do some transactions that required me to go in and um, with a business account of mine. So, Walmart, Bank of America, Walmart. Let's see what else Debbie can get into today. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Good day. This is a Debbie lunch break. I'm having a later lunch today. It's about 4 o'clock. So, um... I wanted to share with you guys that I'm starting back to do my OMED. Do you know what OMED is? A lot of you will know. It's one meal a day. And that's how I was able to lose uh, 40 pounds throughout the year. Um, a lot, you know, you all hear a lot of things about dieting and fasting and the keto and all it's so much stuff out there in this beginning of the year people want to do so many different things and get your money and um, what uh, Willie and I did at the beginning of last year is we did um, the one meal a day where we would fast um, and we fast biblically and um, we also fast for weight loss. So I'm getting back into my grind, getting back into the groove of things after taking a break. Um, 
but I continued to exercise. So I'm happy to say I did not gain but two pounds through the holiday season. And I lost that last week, which um, for me, that's a miracle. Cause normally during the holiday season, I would gain 10 pounds or more sometimes because I would eat and eat and eat sweet sweet sweets everything 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 I didn't get this big by not eating but um, this year I was in control I knew that I had to exercise I knew that I had to stay in control and I still enjoyed the holidays I, I ate sensibly I didn't eat like I didn't um, gorge myself I stopped when I was full and just ate what I wanted so now we're going to the one meal a day plan um, and a lot of people say well that's gonna make you sick and you got to eat little small meals to get your mentality you know whatever works for you that's what God told me whatever works for you everybody's body is different there's no one way to lose weight no one way that you gain the weight everybody's body is different and everybody's body does different things this body here likes to fast and it helps me to be to to get control of things and 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 put it in God's hand um, I fast throughout the day and there are some days when I fast totally all day and uh, because I'm on medication I have to have you know maybe uh, some kind of shake or some kind of drink or, which I do the um, why can't I think of it? <laughs> muscle milk um, I like those uh, with no sugar so I just want to be encouraging a lot of you I know are starting diets and different things this year but just do what your body requires don't listen to no carbs no low calorie low fat low this or whatever like that you know what works for your body listen to your body not to Nutrisystem or Weight Watchers and all that all that stuff never worked for me so I'm doing what works for Debbie and my family so stay sweet love you and this was a Debbie break bye Good morning. It's time to get up and get those 30 minutes in. Get moving. I'm not going to show my face because it just don't look right. Have a blessed day. Good morning. Make somebody happy today. You know what? I decided I won't show my face today. <sighs> this morning. <sighs> it's so important to have time with your maker or meditate. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> or whatever it takes. I don't want people to think that I am uh, perfect in any way, but uh, that's the reason for having this channel is to make people aware that everybody struggles. And you may see people smiling. You don't know the suffering or pain that they have gone through. So. Take some time and and ask people, how are you doing today? And so most of them say, I'm okay, it's okay. But 
Sometimes I say, no, how are you really doing? I can tell you're not okay. Focus on somebody else during that time when you're not okay and helping somebody else through a struggle will oftentimes help you to look at yourself in the mirror and know that you don't have it so bad. I just heard that a friend of mine, I've known her for years, you know how we go to the doctor for our checkups and stuff, she's been having some, a few chest pains and stuff, and she's going to have to have open heart surgery. So I'm thinking about her this morning and praying for her. I am going to go and visit her because and especially her husband because I've been there I know that pain that fear of what if what if you need somebody to be there to comfort you so I'm gonna do that this week and I just want to encourage you people to to encourage your co-workers your friends your church friends even your your neighbor that you don't even know sometimes if you just walk out and just say you know how are you doing you know we, we have lived in our neighborhood for nearly 20 years this year and sometimes you forget that your neighbors need encouragement so take care have a great day see you at lunch Hello folks, another lunch break with Debbie today. Taking my normal lunch time today. Um, just wanted to come in and say, I never thought I would be that person that loves exercise or walking and running and all that stuff. But I actually enjoyed getting up this morning and, and getting out, it was about 45 degrees I think just enough to put on a jacket and just enough to to be breathing well but it was such a marvelous day out I'm telling you folks this Florida weather is very nice living in Florida is the is the dream <laughs> but um, I I hadn't walked in two days so it was very hard to get up when it's cold and plus I have the, the arthritis thing in my knee and my hip but the more I walk the more I get out and exercise my body likes that more than if I stay laying down or sitting or whatever like that so I've come to the point where I realize that I've got to move every day taking no days off and stuff, my body don't like that. And it's really weird because when you're in pain, if you get up and move, it feels better. The lubrication and that commercial where they say a body in motion stays in motion, you can move better, you can get around better if you get up and, and move, if you suffer from any kind of like arthritis, like I'm the issue that I'm dealing with. Um, and getting some of the weight off helps a lot. I mean, from <coughs> excuse me, from um, a few months ago. Uh, well, not a few months. It's been about a year. Like I said, I lost about forty pounds. I can move around a whole lot better and feel a whole lot better daily with less weight on these knees. So I'm really going to try to work on. I'm going to get that down, but um, I, I'm just <laughs> such a different person from uh, last year this time, and I, I'm grateful to God for opening my eyes to certain things and new things. Looking forward to uh, getting into my training. I don't know if I mentioned that I'm going to be going to... Uh, I'm doing an online university where I'm going to be certified for uh, coaching, life coach. 
So I'm so excited about that, getting to, I, I love school and learning, but I, I realize that the things that I like to learn about are not what I do, like finances. I like coaching, helping psychology, um, ethics and stuff like that. All of that fascinates me and I'm really going to get more into that. So it's a beautiful Florida day here. I'm going to turn around and let you all see a few my balcony from where I work. I'm a, I sit out here on this balcony after I walk, and I walked again on lunch break, and um, and I have my lunch. I do my um, reading and journaling. I have my little journal and stuff here. Get to know Debbie. I'm getting to know Debbie more, and getting to know to have a closer relationship with God. So that's all for now. I'm going to go and have my water and my little lunch. Thank you all for watching. And I hope to have this posted by the end of today for our blog of the week. We're going to do some more things. We're going to get you to see me more this year. Hope you love it. Take care. Good evening. This is me, ready for bed. Yeah, look pretty rough. <laughs> but I decided that I wanted to do my vlogs and let you know and see me in my natural state, in my best state when I may wear makeup, in my exercise state. Um. I, I I noticed that a lot of people, they do their vlogging and daily stuff and all of this and they're all glammed up and they want you to think that, you know, life is all perfect and everything. Life is not perfect. Yes, I'm, I'm happy 90% of the time, uh, <laughs> some days, and then some days I'm not. Um, this is my end of the week vlog here, lying across my bed, ready for bedtime, ready to rest, getting a little Hallmark movie time. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of kind of addicted to Hallmark. But um, one thing I wanted to talk about, and I I've been meaning to rant about this. Um, all week. Last week, I had an incident where I um, got in contact with some perfume. I'm, I have a very sensitive uh, allergy to certain, and mostly it's perfume and, and lotions that have like flower scents to them and stuff. And it can hit me a certain way and it can make me have a headache. I can cough, cause my asthma to come up. And I rarely get asthma attacks anymore because I'm kind of, this is that's kind of under control. But it makes me that way. So I wanted to say, Bath and Body Works, most of that stuff, I don't like. And just because it smells good to you, don't think that everybody wants to smell it. Don't go putting a whole bunch of it on and your working environment and all that stuff. I mean, it and and I used to like to wear that stuff, but in, in my older age and stuff, I can't. It, it it affects my asthma and makes me my allergies and all that stuff come up. So just be courteous. I see all of these vlogs and um, YouTube channel people have gone out shopping and getting all the sales from Bath and Body Works and all that stuff. Bath and Body Works is not good. It makes people sick. It gives you a headache. But uh, some of the things that, that Bath and Body Works puts out, I'm fine with. But the flowery smells and 
all that oh goodness it can be really stink so be cautious and courteous to other people's sensitivity to that stuff i know when i was younger i used to blather on the perfume and stuff and it would drive my sister crazy she couldn't stand it and i didn't understand so now i understand <laughs> So, just be courteous about perfumes and different things that you put on and colognes and um, lotions that smell. Um, not everybody can handle that. It causes migraines. But, it's been a great few days and I hope that I have entertained you. I'm I'm new at this vlogging thing, so... Gonna try it out. <laughs> See how it works. I hope I've been good with you guys and shared some good stories. Have a good evening.